Our planet is filled with terrifying and nightmarish creatures with their sinless appearance, but a torturing touch. Like this, this, and this. Let's see some of these most dangerous animals that you should never touch at any cost. Fluffy Caterpillar. Don't be fooled by its appearance because this fluff ball of a caterpillar is one of the most venomous caterpillars in the world. The Puss Caterpillar, Megalopka opercularis, has hidden toxic spikes underneath its fur. When the skin brushes against the Puss Caterpillar, the spines break off, releasing an irritating fluid that produces an immediate stinging and burning sensation. In addition to pain, the toxin can also cause redness, a rash, and some swelling. Its stings can be very painful and have sent people to the hospital. So don't ever try to touch this animal because it's gonna be worse for you. The Asian Giant Hornet. Bite, sting, and finish off with a stroke. That's what a giant hornet does with its prey. And while doing so, it never differentiates whether it's biting a human, animal, or a bird. Having the size of a matchbox, it is one of the most venomous insects in the world. It lives in Asia, especially in Japan, but was also recently seen in America. Asian hornet sting is more dangerous than most other bees and wasps, as it can damage tissue causing substantial pain. So if you encounter one, just slowly and calmly leave the area. Sea urchin. It's neither a tattoo nor hair. It's the aftermath of a sea urchin sting. Seems painful? Yeah. Then always stay away from this ball-shaped spike marine animal while sea diving. Sea urchins are covered in spines, which can easily penetrate divers boots and wetsuits, puncture the skin and break off. These spines are usually hollow and can be fragile particularly when the time comes to extract broken spines from the skin. Injuries usually happen when people step on urchins while walking across shallow rocky bottoms or tide pools. So try to be careful if you encounter it anywhere. Wrap around spider. You are indeed at risk of getting a shock from this wrap around spider if you make a habit out of grabbing random tree branches in the bush. It is because this spider is a perfect natural camouflage artist. See this? Could you locate it? Yes, you can for now, but for sure it will not be an easier task to locate it in real life. But thankfully, its venom is not deadly at all for humans, but could cause the addition of some painful minutes in your life, especially for those people who have some allergic disease. Its bite could be destructive. so. Always try to be careful while going into the bushes. Blue Ringed Octopus. At first glance, the blue ringed octopus looks perfectly innocuous. Its psychedelic coloring and pint sized packaging make it seem more adorable than alarming. But don't let its cuddly exterior fool you. This tiny octopus can kill you and quickly. So it's the last thing anyone wants to see before him. Because according to the Ocean Conservancy, its venom is 1,000 times more potent than cyanide and could finish off 26 humans. And horribly, that would be a matter of just minutes. Although all octopuses are venomous, the blue ringed octopus is truly in a league of its own. That's why you should always try your best to prevent encountering this small but venomous marine creature. Buff Tip Moth. Let's find out where's the hidden moth on this broken branch. Oh, amazingly, the branch itself is a buff tip moth. How perfectly they have managed to camouflage themselves. Now, you might be thinking, how? How could such an adorable and static animal be dangerous? Yes, it never bites anyone at all, but still, maybe touching it could not be safe. It is because it can cause rashes and allergies. Imagine how dangerous it could be. 
for those who are already suffering from some kind of allergic disease. Crown of Thorns Starfish It's better to avoid this kind of starfish, because skin injuries due to this Crown of Thorns Starfish have been observed and are considered to be a serious medical issue. Plant's eye venomous spines can deliver stings that provoke various pathological symptoms, such as pain, protracted vomiting, and signals like erythema and swelling. And all of this could last for hours. Mexican Beaded Lizard When threatened, Mexican beaded lizards hiss and open their mouths, giving them a fearsome appearance. Historically, they were thought to be dangerous. In reality, these slow-moving lizards only bite if provoked. Human bites are very rare and usually not life-threatening, but it could be the case of multiple bites because they bear venom-transmitting teeth with a deep venom groove in the rostral carina. Hence, bites by this lizard generally produce severe local pain, dizziness, diaphoresis, vomiting, parathesia, and hypotension. That's why Mexican beaded lizards are not extremely adorable at all, as they pretend from their appearance. So, don't ever try to mess unnecessarily with it. Indian Red Scorpion This is the Indian Red Scorpion, one of the world's deadliest scorpions, whose stings potentially represent a life-threatening medical emergency. This deadliest kind of scorpion can be found throughout the Indian subcontinent including India, Pakistan, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. A person who gets stung by a red scorpion can actually die if not treated in a couple of hours. It is because they are known to carry a very potent neurotoxin that contains a mix of salts, small molecules, peptides, and proteins, which gives very little time for the stung person to survive. It's enough to show how dangerous it is. So. Always be aware of it, you don't want to get troubled. Poisonous Stargazer Fish Here's another camouflage artist, the Stargazer Fish, probably known as the Nightmare of the Seafloor. It is because they are highly specialized ambush predators. See how it dodges and hunts the fishes? By rapidly burying itself in the sand, only leaving its upturned eyes and mouth uncovered. It becomes well camouflaged and seamlessly blends in with the sandy substrate that they are buried in. People cannot often detect them and get injured. It could be harmful because stargazers are venomous. Their venom comes from two large spines, which are set just above their pectoral fins. It isn't deadly, but can be extremely painful, cause localized swelling, and can induce shock. The Brazilian Wandering Spider Here comes the world's largest spider, the giant Brazilian Wandering Spider, also known as the Banana Spider. It is called a wandering spider because of living on the web. Most of its time is probably spent wandering the rainforest of the Amazon. It looks weird, hence our natural curiosity pushed us near it, but always keep in mind, a bite from the Banana Spider can cause shortness of breath, excessive salivation, tremors, and a persistent intensely painful erection known as propiopism in the medical community. That's why we definitely suggest you sustain this curiosity and try to remain away from it. Bullet Ants This bullet ant is the largest of the ant family at about one inch in length. Like most of the others on this list, bullet ants are not instinctively aggressive, but become so when as a defense mechanism. Their sting releases ponotoxin, a neurotoxic peptide that causes severe muscle contractions, a burning sensation, and great pain. Just be glad you're not part of the Satra Ma tribe of the Amazon rainforest. As a part of their transition to manhood, they force the boys of the tribe to stick their hands into gloves filled with angry bullet ants. They repeat the ritual until the boy can endure the stinging and ensuing pain and paralysis without shedding a tear. This can take up to 20 attempts. Urokanji Jellyfish It feels like someone has turned on a switch which has activated every single nerve in your entire body. 
like you're on fire without being on fire. That's what was stated by a man who got stung by this kind of jellyfish, the Urukanji jellyfish. It's so dangerous that every year, 1,000 persons are reported to be killed by it in Australia. The venom from Urukanji can cause Urukanji syndrome, a painful, potentially lethal condition associated with a sense of impending doom. And remember one thing, that's not the result of its bite, but it probably caused due to its one meter long stings. So try to keep yourself away from its stings because it could be deadly harmful. Golden Dart Frog This is the Golden Poison Frog, considered one of the most toxic animals on Earth. A single specimen measuring two inches has enough venom to kill 10 grown men. The indigenous Imperia people of Colombia have used its powerful venom for centuries to tip their blowgun darts when hunting, and that's also the reason behind its name. This deadly frog rarely bites. Actually, it does the real damage through its poisonous skin. And still, no medicine has been discovered for its venom. It's because scientists are still unsure of the source of this frog's amazing toxicity. But it is possible they assimilate plant poisons, which are carried by their prey. Lanomia obliqua. See these incredible visuals? They are not dancing, or there's not a parade going on here. But a pride of one of the world's most venomous caterpillars, Lanomia obliqua, is in the defending position. I'm sure the man who has perfectly known their destructiveness and stood away from them. They are so dangerous because they release toxins with anticoagulant properties through their bristles. These toxins in contact with the skin can cause pain, redness, swelling, a burning sensation at the site. The clotting time increases, coagulation factors levels decrease, and fibrin degradation products could be increased after accidental encounters with obliqua. Tetsi fly. What could be the harm of these small creatures? That's what we often think about the house fly. But wait, tetsi fly a blood-sucking member of the housefly family can prove all of these assumptions wrong. It is also called the tick-tick fly and is generally found in Africa. It can transmit sleeping sickness in humans and a similar disease called nagana in domestic animals. Tetsi flies are distinguished in part by a forward-projecting piercing proboscis on the head that is capable of puncturing skin. They readily feed on the blood of humans, domestic animals, and wild game since they can bite both humans and animals. So, the most frightening thing is that they can transmit several infections from animals to humans. The Death Stalker Scorpion. How dangerous must something be to earn the name Death Stalker? It is probably the best suitable name for this most venomous and aggressive scorpion in the world. Its bite simply means death in a few minutes if not cured. It generally lives in deserts, especially in the Great Sahara Desert. You can imagine its aggressiveness and how poisonous it is. By knowing these wondering facts every year, roughly 1.2 million death stalker stings are reported, which causes the death of approximately 3,200 people. That all happens because of its venom, which is a powerful mixture of neurotoxins. See how brutally it stings through its long tail? Absolutely terrifying. Tarantula Hawk This tarantula doesn't have any idea how big a mistake it is going to make by challenging this dangerous tarantula hawk. After the initial encounter, it tried to escape, but the damage was done. A venomous sting by the tarantula hawk totally paralyzed it in just a couple of seconds. Luckily, this sting is not so dangerous for humans unless you are unfortunate enough to develop an allergic reaction. The area where you are stung may remain red for up to a week, and the pain from most stings subsides within a few hours. So if you want to prevent this extreme pain, then stay away from it as much as possible. Inland Typen Hello, Mr. Typen, the most poisonous snake on our planet, also called the Fierce Snake. Venom from Typen's one bite can finish off 100 adult humans, and I think it's enough to show how dangerous it is. Another frightening thing is they seem to have better eyesight than other snakes. 
Moreover, they flick their forked tongue rapidly in and out of the mouth, tasting the presence in the air of potential prey. This chemical information is passed to the Jacobson's organ in the roof of the mouth and then to the brain. The lean muscular body allows it to travel fast in pursuit of its prey. All these things together make it the most dangerous snake in the world. Ant Eater Ant eaters look rather scruffy and definitely harmless because, hey, they don't even have teeth. How could any animal without teeth harm us? But wait a minute, pay attention to its claws. It can surely do a lot of harm with a single swipe of its claws. It mainly uses them to excavate food, but won't hesitate to use them to defend itself. And definitely, even its least defending efforts would be disastrous for the attacker. Ant Eater, as shown by its name, used to eat insects, especially ants. It has weaker eyesight, but a powerful nose through which it can detect the food from a long distance. And this is how it gets into the ant's home through its long tongue. Flamboyant Cuttlefish This is the flamenco dancer of the cuttlefish world, the flamboyant cuttlefish. This small but feisty fish can be found ambling along the seafloor on two arms and fins that combine to make leg-like appendages. Unlike other cuttlefish species, the flamboyant doesn't dart away when threatened. It remains stationary, flashing its hypnotic color scheme and pulsing its fins. In the worst cases, it doesn't even hesitate to bite, and its bite means absolute death, because flamboyant cuttlefishes are highly poisonous. According to a toxology study of their muscular tissue, Research by Museum Victoria in Queensland, Australia, has shown the toxin to be as lethal as that of blue-ringed octopuses. So, don't ever try to mess with this deadly fish while sea diving. Panda Ant This is the panda ant, which lives up to its name by sporting a coat of fur that makes them resemble the pandas. Despite their common name, these insects are not ants. Instead, they are actually wasps. Panda ants are pretty nasty predators, but thankfully humans do not count as one of their targets until they do not feel any danger from them. It is often claimed that their string is so powerful that it can finish off cows. However, humans, although only rarely stung, have reported their stings as being unbearably painful. That's why it's better to stay away from them. Maricopa Harvester Ants These are harvester ants, the ants of Apache legends, where supposedly the tribes abandon their enemies on the mounds of harvester ants to suffer until death. However, there is no verifiable evidence confirming the legends, but quoted this here to show how destructive they are. Harvester ants have the most potent venom of any genus of insects on the planet, possessing venom about 20 times more toxic than the honeybee venom and 35 more times more potent than Western Diamondback Rattlesnake Venom. If you have been bitten by it, then get ready to bear the extreme pain for the next several hours. I think their great communication skills are a much bigger problem than their venom. Don't believe me? Okay, then see this collective encounter of harvester ants. Stone Fish Jump, hunt, and ride again for a new hunt. Here's the master of camouflage, the stone fish, blended so perfectly with its surroundings that at first sight I mistook it as a stone. Apparently that was not a big mistake for me, but for sea divers and beach visitors, it could become a lifetime regret. It is because as the result of stepping on the stone fish, you would have to lose that entire leg. Believe me, that's the best case scenario. We said this because the stonefish is the most venomous fish in the world. It has 13 stout spines in the dorsal fin, which can inject highly toxic venom. It is believed to have killed many Pacific and Indian Ocean Islanders. The Coral Snail These are coral snails, maybe the slowest of any ocean-going snail, but when it comes to dinner, they are speedy and thorough. Their venom is a complex concoction of hundreds of different toxins and is believed to be among the world's most effective and deadly ones. It is so toxic that snails could easily paralyze and even kill their prey 
regardless of whether it's a fish or a human. The way it injects its venom is incredible! That's how its venom is delivered via a harpoon-like tooth propelled from an extendable proboscis. That's why you should always think twice before messing up with a coral snail. And now let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. Today's subscriber pick is the picture of the giant water bug. These brown flattened bugs lurk in the freshwater habitats around the world, ambushing their prey and sucking it dry. They can get up to two to three inches in length. They are good dads because their males took up female eggs on their backs as they are venomous, hence their bite hurts a lot and this pain lasts for hours. Komodo Dragon Although it doesn't throw fire from its mouth, still it reminds me of the giant dragons of earlier times. Reaching up to 10 feet in length and more than 300 pounds, it is the Komodo Dragon, the world's largest lizard. It is only found on a handful of islands in the Indonesian archipelago. Not known to the world until the First World War, the Komodo dragon is actually a species of monitor lizard that evolved in isolation for millions of years. They seem adorable from their appearance, but they are also one of the most aggressive, dangerous, and venomous lizards in the world. They are so powerful that they can easily take down prey many times their own size. The Africanized Honeybee these Africanized honeybees seem to have anger issues. That's why we have covered the face of this man in such a terrifying way. Otherwise, he might have needed an ambulance and some emergency paramedics for him. I said this because they are dangerous stinging insects that have been known to chase people for more than a quarter of a mile once they get excited and aggressive. The sting of such a single bee is similar to that of a common bee. They spend 20 minutes with their victims, and believe me, that it is enough. 